What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Buchiguri match video. My name is D Free here today. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys everything that you need to know to get started on the game. Hope you guys enjoy. If you are new, hit that subscribe. Stick around for more Buchiguri match content here on the channel. It is currently my favorite Dragon Ball uh, mobile, quote unquote, game to play currently. And I want to just bring you guys more content. So if you enjoy it, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. If this guide was helpful as well, make sure you leave a thumbs up as well. And uh, share the video out with your friends if they're interested in starting to play this game too. As you see, it's a very beautiful game, right? Very beautiful game. So, to begin, the first thing that I think is important to note is that this is not an application, which is why I'm in Chrome right now. It is not an application. It is a browser game. Some of you guys probably haven't played browser games in a very long time. Well, I'm going to take you back, and we're going to start playing browser games again. Now, this game, next thing I do want to point out is that it will probably never, ever get an English slash global release. The reason behind that is due to the company that manages this being, I believe, Japan-centric, and only in Japan. I don't think there's an Enza con uh, you know, company out here. Otherwise, I could be mistaken. But also, just due to the way that the application has been, been handled in general is not really conducive to an English audience, so it'll most likely again never happen so no reason to wait i am working on a website with a few other people that is going to have translations a la something like dbz.space if you guys are familiar with legends or dokkan battle so we should have translations in the future for you guys very soon within the next month or so that you guys can refer to so again start playing now now in order to start playing i'm going to leave a couple links down below in the description first and foremost is the official twitter this is always going to have a link right here on the side, go.enza.fun, that you guys can go to to allow you to go ahead and play this game directly there. But I'll also leave my own link down below to invite you guys to play the game. So make sure that you do get started through one of those links down below. Now, the most important thing I do want to point out is when you get to the point where you have already created your account, this is very important. So listen through this. <laughs> if you reset your data, you will most likely lose your account information. If you reset your browser data, you will most likely lose your information. That's important to note as well because uh, a lot of times you have cloud syncing between multiple devices. If you reset on the other devices as well, you will most likely lose your data. The way to bypass that though is by having it linked to a line account. So do yourself a favor. The, the, it, I believe actually, by the way, it even asks you to do it and it'll take you to it. Uh, but link your account to Line, which is this application right here. Very easy to get. This does work in an emulator. If you are centric to a PC and you're only able to play on PC, you don't have access to an Android, you get Nox emulator. Put this in there. You're good to go. Just link your account, and you will always be able to recover it. You'll also always be able to transfer it instantly to whatever device, and it can be on multiple browsers at a time. It's not like a general application games. It doesn't work the same way. So make sure that you link it, <laughs> or if you have a Bandai, Bandai excuse me, Namco ID, uh, you can link it as well. I believe it has to be a Japanese Bandai Namco ID, though. So... A lot of people will try to play the game and they'll encounter errors. Uh, if you do encounter errors, that's probably because you need a VPN. Now, anyone in the U.S. apparently does not need access to a VPN. For comparison's sake, I myself am in the U.S. and I do not need access to a VPN on any of my devices. Right now, I am currently not using one, as you guys can see, and it'll let me in. I'll play it successfully. I have a very good account that I've been working on for a month now, and I do not need access to a VPN, but some of you guys might. And if you don't know what a VPN is, long story short, it is something that allows you to trick your device into thinking that you are in Japan. So again, if you have VPN access, make sure you set it to Tokyo, Japan, whatever the case is. So here are some good VPNs I would recommend between mobile devices and the computer. So we have access to Ola VPN, very, very good one. Uh, very, very highly rated as well. Probably one of the better ones you guys can use. It could also potentially have an iOS client, but this is currently the one from the Google Play Store. We also have VPN Catmaster, same thing, iOS centric, but could have a client on, J on uh, the Google Store as well. OpenVPN, we also have that. We also have other things like Tunnel Bear, stuff like that. And uh, all you really do, long story short, is you sign in to the, the VPN, you turn it on, and then you leave. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to manage it. It's not an extra hassle. It's just a few extra steps that are very, very brief. So another one for PC, though, this one's called VPN Gate. Apparently, this one's really good. There are some others that are very, very good as well. I had one that I was testing out, um, and it costs like $2 just like in a year. So it's like little things like that you could potentially have to pay for. But for the most part, these are just going to be free options for VPNs, for uh, VPNs, excuse me, that you guys can use. So that is pretty much all that you need to know <laughs> in order to get started with Buchigiri Match. You just need to have that saved. Now, if you are on a mobile device, the best thing that you can do is add the website to your home screen. 
if you click the settings icon uh, you click add to home screen it'll create a little icon on your home screen and it'll also load the website in full screen as if it's an, it's uh, as if it's its own application pretty much akin to this so it would work like that it would work pretty much the same of course you wouldn't have the side views because you wouldn't have access to that on the computer of, or uh, on the mobile device of course so that's the best thing you can do and it'll also create a shortcut to the website now if you log in when you're done it'll take you to a very brief tutorial and it'll explain how to play but I'll kind of let you guys know everything that you need to know so what they're saying here is the AR that is higher wins so right now we have two cards a five and a four I believe it's gonna force me to choose the five you need to choose the card that is right for the situation they do different things uh, which is why translations can be important in the future but for now we're gonna send out the five and match it up with probably a four or lower so I can auto win Yep, there it is. So the higher AR automatically wins. And when you win, you get a key sphere. So you're going to see the key sphere shoot off to the bottom left, right above my cards in the bottom left. Uh, so when you do that, and of course, by the way, the attack battle damage does come out of the opponent's HP whenever you win the battle. So he lost 4,600. And I'm going to pick up a key. It's right there. It just shot over to the left, right above that one drop Bulma card on the far left. Now, the key is important because you can use those to add extra AR to a card you would be using otherwise. So we're going to choose Krillin here. And immediately after we choose the Krillin, we are going to lose this bout, actually. And as you see, you generally just have two cards in your hand. So a lot of times you're going to lose. It's just This is how it is, right? You're going to have to rely on RNG sometimes. You're going to lose. You're going to win sometimes. It is what it is. Acrylin is now going to be in play. So anything you play, by the way, does go into your support. They are in play. And that's important as well because there are other cards that need specific cards in play already before they can get a buff. So Acrylin minus 8,000 more because the Frieza has the ability to apparently swing twice. We are now in what is considered super serious mode when you're in the red HP threshold as well. So that means that whoever we play next, which is probably going to be the Goku here. Yep, it's the Goku. He probably needed a requirement for Frieza to be, uh, or excuse me, for uh, Krillin to be on your bench. You probably need to be in super serious mode as well, which is low HP, the red HP. And he's going to transform from here. So he's going to come out. We're going to win the battle regardless. He's going to transform as well. And he's probably going to one shot from this range. I think this is pretty much the end of the general tutorial. So Frieza's going to talk a little bit. Again. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is just about it. He's a striker. He might swing multiple times. I'll go more in-depth in gameplay in a separate video, but this is just the general for you guys. So we're going to come back to that in the future. Super Frieza is now in super serious mode. Goku is now going to trigger a second ability and apparently swing another time at the Frieza, putting him down to 1,200. And apparently, it looks like he has a third, actually. He, might, he has a third. What the? This guy. <laughs> he has the third ability kicking in. And that is it. It looks like it's a shockwave for another 4,600 for the KO. So uh, that might have went over your head. <laughs> it might have went over your head. Trust me, the first few times I played, it went 100% over my head as well. So don't worry about it. I'll be back with some more just general guides for you guys in the future and things that you need to know to better yourself when it comes to this. But generally, you do have themed decks. That's pretty much how it works. That's what they're explaining here. Krillin card, that Krillin card specifically does buff the power of Goku cards, I believe. And also the Ginyu Force, you know, you have ARs 1 through, set, uh, through 8 as well, generally buffing. And then you have the 8 card that probably needs more in play as well. So just little things like that. Now, I do want to point out that when you get in, you have access to a few things. You have the choice to choose between multiple decks. You just kind of saw this Goku deck in action a little bit. But I'm going to tell you right now, in my opinion, the best one to go for is this one. And this one's very, very, very easy to use. Pretty much what you want to do with this one is play Borgos and Shugesh immediately. As soon as you see them, you play them. Because they do different things. The Shugesh is going to continually deal a thousand damage to your opponent each time you play another Bardock crew member, which is pretty much the whole entire deck except for the GT Shenron. So every time you play one, you're going to deal a thousand damage, I believe, to your opponent. And also with um, Borgos, you're going to heal a thousand each time you play a card. Now, the AP cannot attack until you have four key. As you saw, you only get key when you win the AR battle. So when you play a card, if you win, you get a key. You get one, you get two, you get three, you get four. Sometimes you get high up. There are cards that allow you to get multiple keys, things of that nature. But just the general 
you know premise of this deck is you want to play literally every other card and then use the red striker ar8 bardock here as your last card and he's going to come through and do a lot of damage look it up to over 15,000 power or things of that nature so again play your borgos and your shugesh immediately um generally you want to play your ar7 bardock right here a little bit early so that way you can play these cards after you want to play these cards after there's already a bardock in play because you are able to get more key when you play those cards even if they lose they still get one extra key so there's that and then of course the very last thing that you do on your final turn is play this bad boy if possible so there you go now i haven't really had any experience personally with the vegeta deck and i'm not a huge fan of the goku deck uh just on its surface i didn't play a whole lot with it admittedly but i'm not a huge fan of this deck though it's a very good deck though it's very balanced it seems but this is the one that i would say just generally has the most power for your buck right now to get started so choose whatever you want but i have a brief explainer like i said for this deck you just play the things in that order uh borgos and shugash ideally come down early 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 and then you go from there now the last little thing that i do want to point out is i think it's going to ask me to link to a line account right about now it's going to be soon because the account is officially created now so from this point on you can actually lose the account like i was mentioning earlier if you reset your data you do have your beginner login bonuses and things of that nature um so right here it's going to explain that you can go ahead and take on some of these tutorial stages do not make me do it of course you will make me do it of course you will make me do it We'll do it very quickly, though, because I don't want to get out of here until we go over literally everything. Um, you know what? In fact, I think we'll cut this part. It's just a tutorial fight. You'll be able to do this on your own device. So we'll be right back in just a second, everyone. All right. So we are back. When you do log in, this is how your game will look. You are good to go. So the first thing that I do want to point out is while you are in, it doesn't appear that it did ask me for the line account. Uh, at some point it does ask you I do remember that because it happened to me recently here are the banners that are currently live You'll see this stuff whenever you come in you'll also have access to a guaranteed SR multi summon as well So when you come over to this option right here Remember how I talked about adding it to your home screen this button right here will explain how to do that and the benefit of that So very very easy to do and other than that you can also create an Enza account by clicking this button uh, and then you create an account from here and you'd be able to link it and when you link it you can also change your name and things of that nature from being guest so you create an account right here you link it and then you can also go ahead and like I said change your name when you change the name of the actual Enza account itself it changes the name uh, for your user account here so that is pretty much everything hope you guys enjoyed today's dragon ball z butchkiri match video if you did make sure that you leave a thumbs up we're gonna do one summon before we get out of here just to see what we get <laughs> there's a lot of uh of currency that we have almost enough for two multis it's three thousand per we're gonna do one summon to see if we can get anything cool and we'll get out of here so we do get that sr apparently we're gonna come back over to the summons and we will do one on the ui banner this is technically a reroll, so <laughs> i don't think it'll get anything but we'll see we'll see if it walks away with ui that'd be interesting UI is very good. I haven't actually pulled it myself yet. So, all right. So they go Super Saiyan. If you get blue here, you're good. He does not go blue. Vegeta can also show up right here. Blue Vegeta. He does not show up. So we get the shaft. <laughs> Welcome to Gasha's. Gasha 101. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch all of you guys in the next Dragon Ball Z Butchie Gear Match video. Take it easy.